In a province where scandal and surprise is nothing new, B.C. politics may have set a new standard for bizarre today. It all centers on a battled B.C. liberal Cash Heed. He has gone from B.C.'s top cop to backbencher twice in the last month, and there was yet another twist in the story today, an embarrassment to the Campbell government and one that has left the man at the center of the storm shaking his head. A News Legislature reporter Shachi Curl has the latest. I think I would have had a better job of predicting the 649 numbers than predicting uh, that would happen. That is the bizarre chain of events that has culminated in Kashid quitting his job as BC's top cop for the second time in three weeks. Confused? Here's a recap. He'd resigned as Solicitor General April 9th, having learned police were investigating him for alleged election fraud involving campaign flyers during his hard-fought race last year. I had nothing to do with it. The campaign didn't endorse anything of that nature. On Monday, this man, Terry Robertson, the independent special prosecutor reviewing the case, cleared he. There was not evidence that led to a substantial likelihood of conviction. That exoneration was enough to persuade the Premier to give Heed his job back yesterday afternoon. You know, been uh, a long three weeks, but it's great to be back in the saddle. But he wouldn't stay there long. Things got really weird about an hour after those comments with a bombshell from Terry Robertson, the special prosecutor. Turns out his law firm, Harper Gray Easton, donated $1,000 to Cashheed's election campaign. The special prosecutor who exonerated him is a donor um, to the BC Liberal Party. Even more shocking, Robertson knew about the donations, says he didn't think it put him in a conflict of interest until almost four months after he took on the job. He quit the case last night, putting Kashid under pressure to resign again. And will you stay on or will you resign? Well, I'm not going to speculate. I've said right from the beginning, I will fully cooperate and I will continue to fully cooperate. But then he says he slept on it. He says he talked to his wife and thought some more and then phoned Gordon Campbell to tell him this. Given this bizarre set of circumstances, uh, I am going to step aside. I don't want to go through this. Chances are, neither does the boss. Campbell is in Europe. He was woken with the bad news at 3 in the morning. Well, I was, uh, I was pretty upset last night. I think clearly the, you know, the totally independent system let everyone down in this particular case, and we're going to have to make review it to make sure that this kind of thing never happens again. So, because of Robertson's decisions, a new special prosecutor has to be appointed, and the Law Society of B.C. is investigating his actions. We do want to protect the public interest. The public's concerned that the process is fair, and we do want to protect the integrity of our um, administration of justice. So the game of musical chairs at the cabinet table continues and Kashid, bounced from his job twice in just three weeks, has to be wondering if the door has closed on his cabinet career for good. In Victoria, Shachi Curl, A News.